Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up Monday night as we do. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk. Uh, well, wrestling in general, but most specifically, uh, whatever you know, Monday night uh, shenanigans we want to get into. Uh, but with me, I got the crew. I got everybody here. For first of all, from Beacon, New York, he is the only Mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. He is Mad Mike. I, I, whoa, man, Raw sure was a show tonight, guys. It was something. Podcasts and Twitter are pushing feuds. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, and I. It's a, it's a whole new era. It's a whole new day, if you will. Uh, no, that's they're on SmackDown. Too. Oh, 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 right. But they're also they on Twitter. On yes, that other voice, Larry, is here Hello. with us once again. Hello. Three weeks in a row, you've come up here and watch Raw. Yes, it and doesn't scare you away. And is this nope. the one that rewarded you? Yeah, you know, it finally paid off. Awesome. It, it, t- it took two hours to get there, but we 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 got <laughs> we, we got we got there. It was it was this, it was fantastic, fantastic. They're up to thirty three percent on my credit on my. Uh, um, Rotten Tomatoes list. Careful, <laughs> you're. you're you're doing some Steiner math there. A little so bit. Watch little out bit. For that. I just saw him walk to the ring with a tiger the other night. <laughs> Seriously? Wait, yeah, it was, it was an old uh, Nitro clip. And Steiner was walking to the ring with a fucking tiger. Excellent. That uh, that sounds like your good um, your good uh, good wrestling of the how week. How did they allow that on, t- on TV? It was Turner, <laughs> and they had a lot of money to he, spare. That tiger could have ate a child in the front row. This is true. Or Steiner. <laughs> this is true. I'm sure they had a handler. No, nope. yeah, there was a la- there was a lady in the background. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> Which looked like L- she Larry, could have been like what? Have yes? you ever seen the clip of Scott Steiner jumping on a pogo stick? No, but I need to find <laughs> that. Sorg, you have failed as a friend to Larry. I'm sorry. I, I need to find that. After this, anyone who's watching, please post a link on the chat. We might yes. we might have to just pull it up and get a live reaction yeah. at, at the end of the show. That, I'm um, entirely okay with that. Uh, uh, Mad Mike, can you can you find a link for us to pull up or, or message over to him so he can pull I, up at the end of the show at least? I am doing that as we speak. Fantastic. So, anyways, um, we're trying to mix things up, of course, and I want to kind of have I don't have an official like kind of segment for this the the call it, but the the good of the week the the what is your your awesome wrestling of the week anything that was uh, not raw because raw has not been right necessarily your awesome thing moment <laughs> of the week or three hours of the week or anything like that so so I want to go into this with positivity and and it sounds like it sounds like Steiner with, with a tiger might well, you be know, yours you know what I the the Ste- you reminded me of the Steiner thing but up until that point the Steiner thing right now is my awesome thing of the, is my uh, Awesome wrestling awesome of the week. Let's just go week. with that. Awesome we'll just partially of rip but off awesome cast. Before before I remembered, I saw that earlier this week. I'll have to say that my favorite wrestling of the week had nothing to do with wrestling whatsoever. It was our truth hiding in Renee Young's cupboard. Yes, that was that was great. <laughs> That's good booking. That's good booking. <laughs> That's good booking. There's a video for some reason. Our <laughs> truth is over at Dean Ambrose and and Renee Young's house, yep. and they Dean decided pu- to Dean puts. Our truth, our truth in the cupboard. Yeah, doesn't tell Renee he's there. Doesn't tell Renee. It's great because, of course, yes, he needs to do that with just random people. Like show up in ha- in Heyman's cupboard, <laughs> or sh- show up in like show up in like like Vince McMahon's bathroom or something. Jeez. Now, let's see if we had scheduled this, this would be the point where our- oh. right behind me in my wardrobe. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. I mean, he was, you know, in their relative area not too long ago. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not like it would have been out of the. <laughs> so. That that's actually that's actually my fun thing of wrestling for the week. What's that? Um. All right. So so if you guys go to WWE's website, I know. You mean WWE dot com? Yes. Yeah. If you go there, just keep scrolling down and look for every R Truth and Carmella video. Okay. Because. They have video highlights of their vacation in Stanford. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I saw the one where they went to the headquarters and the TV t- studio and everything. Are oh. you telling me there's more? There's a lot more, Sorg. There's just also what is there's what... a lot more. There there's there's um What's with the beer store across the street from the headquarters? 
<laughs> what else are you going to put across the, the street from a wrestling headquarters? Have, have you seen the booking? Seen, yeah. Have you seen but the like, booking? Is, you always see the angle. Sorg, I have a beer with me right there. You do, you do. I, I mean, there's Titan Towers, and then across is like this, like, shady-looking beer store. So? <laughs> yep. Have you looked across the street from the Great Pyramid, Sorg? There's a Taco Bell. I don't know if there's if that's true, but there's other buildings. There's normal well, modern day buildings across from the Great Pyramids. There's practically one across Gaza. the street from Heinz Field, so yeah. I mean, I, I guess yeah. that's kind of relatable or something. So yeah, I mean, we have a not, grocery store probably, across the street from Sorgatron yeah. Media for crying out loud. That's right. Do you know what's right. across the street from Madison Square Garden? What's that? There's a fucking Hooters. There is. There, there is. And that other that yeah. other uh, restaurant where we spent all night at, like hanging out because it wasn't it, the, the, was Brother it? Jimmy's. No, no, it was Jimmy's, but then there's like a diner that we were at that one time. Oh yeah, there's the there's the Starlight Diner too. Ah, yes. There's a lot of places. Listen, it's New York, <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff. Um, okay, uh, so so wait, did we? Okay, so there's more videos you're you're telling me, and is that yeah. your? Is is there anything in particular I should be looking for that, to look at here, um, or just all well, of them? Um, th- there's, um, I see. I don't want to spoil any of them, okay. but Corey Graves makes an appearance. <laughs> I did see the Corey Graves in the closet. Did you see the Corey Graves in coffee? There's been a lot of Corey Graves in the clo- or wrestlers in closets this week. I've noticed. I mean, it is a, this is a trend. Was, yeah. No, I didn't see the one with him in coffee. Oh yeah, there's there's that. Um, and by the way, that that's not a, that is not a closet. That is Corey Graves' is living quarters. <laughs> Watch the other videos. Oh, it kind of goes on. Watch the other videos. There, there's a progression. I'm still looking for them. Tina said there's it. a progression. There's a whole green screen vacation they go on. Nice. It's really great. I feel like I must. So have, I, I must have seen like the clips highlight version of it. Did so? Did Corey Graves just steal your sawtooth, Willie? <laughs> He's watching. Story I life. know you're watching. I know. I know. There's people <laughs> in the I'm Graves thinking, family. I know there's people in the Graves family paying attention to what's going on here at Sorgatron Media Studios. What? I'm pointing at the camera. You're pointing, oh, you're pointing, pointing at, the at them. I don't know if you're pointing at them out there, <laughs> if you're pointing at Sasha Banks behind me, something no. happened to the TV. It was it was unsettling. <laughs> All right. Tina, uh, Tina's... Yeah, you can't just randomly point to something. It's not like we're in WrestleMania season or anything. Yeah, yeah, you got you to gotta watch your pointing. The pointing <laughs> means stuff. <laughs> uh, Tina said her awesome thing was uh, Young Bucks here at Defy in Seattle. Mmm, nice. Yeah. They, they had the whole uh, AEW crew invade, didn't they? Did they? I thought it was that. Was that where it was? Yeah, yeah. No, they. It was some. It was someplace over the weekend. But honestly, it's it's like until it, they announce a TV deal, I don't really care where they show up. It's like it's like a job fair. <laughs> it's like a job <laughs> wherever, fair. Wherever they go is just a job Although, fair. Did you hear? Did you guys hear the very minutest? AEW chant during the revival match. No, they, we, we, yep. we kind of had the audio low tonight. Yeah, ah, yeah. uh, no, that was a thing. Mm. It, it was it was brief and stomped out. You know what? You know what? It if was... we replace the CM Punk chance with this, I am all in. Oh, uh, <laughs> I see uh. what you did there. Anyways, um, it's a big night for tag team wrestling. It is. Also, I saw a great, a great one with it where um, it was Cody Rhodes and Space Monkey shaking hands, and it says, uh, uh, "Breaking news: Space Monkey has uh, signed with Cody Rhodes to mow his lawn." Jeez. That's a good gig. It's a good. It's not a bad gig. That's, I mean, I don't know. A good gig. I wonder how I big mean, his lawn is, but I don't know. I mean, you know, it's not mower of lawns big, but it's still a big gig. Mm. So my good, honest, good to see Space Monkey getting work. <laughs> My awesome thing this weekend, I I I, uh, I got to uh, do the switch on uh, IWC's Reloaded 5.0, which featured Kurt Angle. Uh, but Kurt is not my awesome thing. It's actually kind of less than awesome. He didn't really do much other than the signing and said, "Hi guys, I'm here." And that was so kind of about it. what he does on Raw. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's more that he's done on Raw lately. Mm, well, That's he flew true. in. Well, he flew in. I'm like, oh, there's all the snow. At least we know Kurt can like cross a bridge and like make the show. Turns out he got in on a plane from San Antonio because he was doing he did a, a match at a house show in San oh, yeah? Antonio on Friday night, and he's here in Pittsburgh to do a show, you know, in his hometown. So, um, but the. There's a couple good surprises. It Reloaded has this reset bug concept, and, and people pop up. Sandman has come out and tag teamed with people before. Um, who else has gone? Tommy Dreamer has shown up and like won the championship uh, at the first one. Uh, who else is probably Gilberg was a surprise uh, uh, opponent for somebody uh, one time. Uh, so 
so it was, you know, kind of a fun night. But the biggest surprise was the hurricane for me. Um, because and now I've, I've done shows with the hurricane before, but still, yeah. I haven't seen him for a few years uh, in the area. Uh, and I know he's coming back from Meadville. Boy, Sork, the meteorologists in Pittsburgh really screwed up. They didn't even see that hurricane coming no, through. No, they did nope. not see the hurricane coming through. But <laughs> Topical references. <laughs> he snuck in under the radar. Oh. Ah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very Bravo. much. Wow, wow. Yes, sir. He'll be Thank here you. all week. He'll be here Tuesday Bravo. night. Too. Yes. Wow. So that's my awesome thing. I learned that. Uh, always <laughs> cool to do uh, Uprise as well. Uh, that, that was a fun uh, show to shoot. Both of those are available on uh, the Indie Wrestling network. And, uh, and uh, of course, IWC show is on VOD if you want to go purchase that at Indie Wrestling US. Um, but uh, no, some really cool moments there. Also, um, I'll, I'll throw a shout out for Jonathan Gresham and John McChesney was like kind of the dream match I didn't know I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds good. There is a point where they're. I'll go behind. There was a point where they were, you know, working out stuff, and and I'm I'm seeing the people like before the show and everything, and I saw I saw like in the ring I see D J Z Gresham and burr, burr, burr. thank you John McChesney. I have to send you actually go check uh, Mike. You need to go check out the clip of D J Z that I uh, posted just a little bit ago on IndieWrestling dot us. Um, okay, but uh, and I'm like looking at it, I'm seeing those three guys. I'm like, well, there's at least three dream matches in there that I want to see. <laughs> So, <laughs> there you go. Well, um, I think DJZ versus Gresham has happened probably on an Impact, right? Uh, I think it would have had to. On an Impact? Like, long ago, I guess. But um, would have had to. But it was a that, good, that even sounds familiar to me. It was a good 10 to 15 minute match. It was like the second match of the night, um, you know, after Kurt said hi. And, uh, no, it was it was worthwhile. John McChesley is now seven-time Super Indie champion, and uh, it's, it's been pretty good. I've had the fortune to film or edit uh, uh, three matches since McChesley's comeback uh, a couple months ago because he um, had popped his elbow out of place twice in a match with Adam Cole Yeah, two summers hmm. ago, wasn't it? And then Adam Cole bailed to NXT. Yeah, he's like, I broke, I, I broke your local hero. Yeah. I'm out. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks, Adam Cole. Uh, anyways, Bebe, and I think I'm legally obligated to say that. Is that right? Yeah. No? Is that That's a, what uh, I've heard. No? Yeah, okay. All right, let's get into Raw tonight. A lot happened, and I am happy with a lot of Raw tonight, Mike. Like, even, I know we were talking about, like, the first two hours maybe weren't the greatest, but there was a lot of good for me happening going into it. There's a lot of tag team happening. A lot of tag team happening tonight. There's like there what? was not a lot of ladies happening. Tonight. Not a, well no, well, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. What did I call it? Larry? What did it when when Alexa came out and and everybody started coming out and talking about the Royal Rumble? What did I say was going to happen? You said um what was it? That uh you said uh, I'm going to win the Rumble. No, I'm going to win the Rumble. No, I'm going to win the Rumble. No, I didn't say that. I said everybody's going to come out and say that yeah. and then they're going to get in a giant brawl yeah. and well, this is yeah, how and this is how we but, promote there's a Royal Rumble. Yeah. But you shouldn't have to wait 2 hours to get to one of your biggest matches of the weekend. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Because the first half of the show, the first 30 minutes the of the show, the first half of the show, the only match they the only matches they promoted for this weekend were the Men's Royal Rumble. Yeah. The Universal Title Match. Okay, that's a lot well, of the pay per view. No, they did the IC that's a title, lot didn't of the pay per view. Uh, or, oh no, that was yeah, Apollo. But the women's Rumble is a lot of the pay per view too. Yeah. Why couldn't you have like Ember Moon versus Ruby Riot? I'm just throwing names out. Two the, front runners to possibly win the Royal Rumble. Could be. Why not that? Uh, we can do. Maybe why they're not? gonna push it tomorrow. Yeah, probably a little bit more. Well, no, more, I mean, more than basically, the it's just it's Raw telling me that no woman from Raw is winning that Rumble. Yeah, mm. I hope not. That, that's what it's telling me. I hope not. Okay, you reading the tea leaves and, here, but I'm a but... little upset they spoiled that Lacey Evans is going to be in the Rumble. Yeah, but everybody's kind of solidifying on where they're popping up now. You know what? I, yeah, I know. I, other than um, she, she had a be- she had a better segment on Raw than uh, EC3. <laughs> this is you got to give her that, Mike. I had a better segment on Raw than <laughs> <laughs> Mike. No, Mike, actually, someone I know had a better segment on Raw than EC3. With the guy My who buddy, interrupted uh, Titus. The guy who interrupted Titus. He, no, yeah, he, yeah, the guy. Who <laughs> That guy is he over. He had a better segment on Raw than EC3 <laughs> and said exactly as much. Yes, he did. I said Titus, Titus had a better chance of going under the ring than into the ring for the Royal Rumble this hey, year. You know I what? Love that. If you stay under the ring 
you can't go over the ropes. That's true. That's that's the uh, um, cur- the uh, Lawler, cur- Curtis the Axel. Method. Um, I'm worried about EC3, Mike, and it's not for the reason I you think. Sorg, I've been concerned about EC3 for weeks now. For weeks. Um, no, I'm serious. Ever since they threw him in mm-hmm. as part of that package mm-hmm. with comedy tag team, mm-hmm. possibly xenophobic woman, Nikki Cross, Lars, who may never debut. Wait, who is the xenophobic woman? Lacey, Lacey? Evans. Okay. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> okay. And, and try, I, I've heard I'm, some things. I'm... <laughs> Okay. I've heard some things. Um, I'm concerned that EC3 has the voice problem that Trevor Noah had last month. No, no, be, no. See, here's the thing: the so second you can't EC3 go with my gag. What voice no, problem? The, you no. can't go with my gag to go no, to the because logical. Because they would have Rockstar Spud speak for him, like they did on the Daily Show. Okay, never mind. You went with my gag. <laughs> yes, sort. You know, let me, let me. You know, you're setting me up. Mm-hmm. You, you put the tea out. You put the ball on there. Help me. You let me ch- let me choke up on the bat first. Before help me. Help me. Help me make a better podcast, Mike. <laughs> but um, the second EC3 talks, he's going to get over, and I don't think they want that. Jeez. There's enough people that are over right now that they're not going to push. Mm. They don't want to add another. Oh, yeah. Man, it's like, why did they call him up? Yeah. I don't know why they called him up, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. like, And if you're going to call him up, if you're going to call him up, don't do a promo. Have him come out as the EC third man in the Rumble. It's literally right there. Oh, you, they're going to do it. You know they are. I hope that's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, but now it, now it lessens the effect. Mm. It's like, remember when Ty Dillinger came out yeah. for his first Royal Rumble as the 10th entrant? And then he mm. came out in the second one as the 10th entrant. No, ninth. Was it? Are you sure? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He already dro- he already dropped down. <laughs> so he, let's talk about nine. Let's talk about um, somebody who did their official debut in the ring tonight. That uh, was almost uh, Larry's awesome thing. Oh awesome wrestling of the week. Oh my god! Uh, tell, uh, 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 Larry, tell me, tell me about your your interest in in heavy machinery. <laughs> that, we on. were you were popping like that you were dude, both going nuts on this match. That was insane. They are they are going to be the next Dudley Boys. Both those guys. No, 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 no. No, they're, oh, they're, no, no, they're, no, no, they're, no, no, no. They're going to be the next two cool. How about that? Like a giant okay, yeah. yeah. They're yeah, going to be the next two cool. Be. A giant giant two cool. I, oh my god. I really worry though that when Heavy Machinery came out and they saw the ascension in the ring, they're like that's our future boys. <laughs> <laughs> By the Being way, the ascension. They both make Connor look small. Yeah. Yep. Holy crap. And it, if they don't die if they don't die of heart attacks, they're going to do <laughs> great things, so. Oh, oh it is my oh. only regret is I wish they'd paired Dozovich up with um Drake Maverick instead. So it can literally look like Tommy Boy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yep. Whoa. By the, way, by the way, yep. spoiler alert, maybe down the line, that may be a Mayhem Mania tag team for me. Oh, my God. I'm just saying that may be a oh Mayhem Mania tag team. You're calling your shot. I might be calling my shot a little bit. Getting that idea out there. Um, wow. Other than that, uh, I, Mike, Mike, that was, that was was I was excited for that. Mm-hmm. Always enjoying a live segment. And... Uh, yeah. I, I, but I did not, that paled in comparison to the highlight of the night. And I'm talking about the reunion of the major brothers. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me have this tonight, Mike. Let me have this tonight. it's It's fine. It's honestly fine. I was okay with that. That was something new and exciting, like they promised us a month ago. What, what happened to Mojo? No, wasn't one knows. he teaming with Ryder? Oh no, no, no! They they broke oh, up. They split up. Oh, yeah, did they? Had they? A very ugly and violent split up when <sighs> someone thought Mojo might be a single star, and then they heard him talk. <laughs> mm. Brandon's calling that. Uh, but wait, wait, I want to go more with that match uh, as well. I I really enjoyed 
the stuff with the revival and Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Kurt Hawkins refed the best match I've seen on WWE in over a year. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of WWE. Mm -hmm. Like, he's calling out tag ropes. Yep. He's calling out pulling the tights. It's, yep. it's almost like the man has lost a few matches before. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I would they say his record was 256? Yeah. Zero and 256. That yeah. isn't that that's like how many night, how many days they're on the road, something like in a that. year, I like that, right? Like know, 250 days in, on up, the road. Um, hold on, hold on. Um, I looked this up before and I wanted to find the uh, the last time that Kerr Hawkins won. Mm -hmm. It was a tag match. No, believe it or not, it was not a tag match. Really, it was a singles match. I want to say it was when he was still on SmackDown. Um, I want to say it was against Apollo Crews. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I have I have to double I have to double check this. But like like a dark match or something? Nope. Or a, a, match a main event on, match? Or? A match on television on SmackDown. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna double check this right now. Was this when he was walking around with his cane? Yes, I believe oh, so. Cane, Kurt Hawkins. Um, yeah. We didn't. We didn't talk about Elias going rope to rope. Oh, geez. When you mean when Elias like like he, absorbed the essence of the Undertaker? Yeah, he is like a graceful He's done ballet that before. dancer. Has he? I've never yes. seen that. I don't remember. He, where... has, he has done that before. Holy crap! That was he impressive. Is, he has done old school before. If anybody, if anybody... that was that was like way way old school. Because even Taker only took like two steps. Yeah. Man. Well, I mean, yeah, but he's a big dude. I mean, he he's not Taker big, big, but he's big he's, to be walking on a tightrope. He's bulky. He's probably like I mean, he's probably what like an inch shorter than me. I'm six four. Yeah. Um, and but he's got he's solid. He's got way more muscle than when I saw him last. So, <laughs> so, um, I mean, he, but he would do uh, fairly. Agile things in his repertoire, less so than he does now, but I think he's like pulling out some stuff like that, right? So, anyways, mm -hmm. um, from the chat room, uh, Brandon uh, really liked Rollins versus McIntyre. Actually, that was a really, it was a really good match. It was a good match, but we've seen it before. It's a, we've seen it before, but I think there was enough. It's been a little bit of time. It's not like we saw it last week. Um. So I mean, I was pretty happy with it. It, it felt like we saw it last week to me. It, I know. It I know, felt like yeah because we saw it two weeks ago. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> and yeah. Um, and again, if anybody so, says that, right. Mike's gonna know that. I'm just gonna put that out there. He, you, are, okay, you, so, you, you are our recent WWE history historian. The last televised match that um Kerr Hawkins won. Now keep in mind, we just had SmackDown 1000. Okay, not that long ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last time Kerr Hawkins won a match was on SmackDown episode 899. Oh my God. Jeez. Oh. He beat Apollo Crews. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, mm -hmm. let's talk mm -hmm. about obviously, if you guys are on video with me, there's a little bit of a visual added to the studio here. Sasha is joining us, and Sasha will join me on camera at least until the Royal Rumble. So tomorrow, she'll be and here then, tomorrow. And then, of course, she has a match. And she so. does have a match. And uh, that was the big kind of blow-off for um, Raw tonight. Um, can I say Sasha was not wrong? Nope, not in, one bit. anything that she said? Nope, nope, nope. nope, nope. Like, yeah. Ronda, Ronda Rousey, I, I, she needs she's a manager. getting better in the ring. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, like if I made a graph, <laughs> and I like because I am an engineer. Yes, you're really good at graphs and charts and the such. You demonstrate Ronda, on the show. Yeah, the better Rhonda gets in the ring, <laughs> the worse she gets on the microphone. It's like she's dropping some skill sets to escalate. Or I'm -ring pretty sure she only. It's like, it's like when you play Pokemon. Your Pokemon can only learn four moves. <laughs> <laughs> and when Rhonda learned the newly named Piper's Pit, she dropped the skill speaking like a human. 
<laughs> but she was pretty huffy and puffy and hyperventilating. Yeah, and that was weird. That was that was well, real yeah, like emotion. Like she forgot her lines and <laughs> was panicking. Yeah, and it, it, it angry. Just was, it wasn't yeah. good. She restated. She was the only one that kind of just straight restated something, right? They, they didn't Alexa Bliss do that as well, or, or somewhere along the line. I would have loved to seen the security feeds in Gorilla. Of everybody <laughs> behind the camera as oh. that's going on, because I've seen those cameras before. Of like, I, of I've, like I've gorilla heard some of the things that come out of there, dude. Maybe. <laughs> <They're>... <laughs> oh boy! Just like been slamming his head on a monitor or something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um. I, I also related to that. Um. The um use of gorilla position lately for like interviews before they go out is yeah. interesting. Um. Because they did this before but they would do it like at the entrance before they go up the steps in there right yeah. now they're mm-hmm. using like that space that you see like when they come backstage and see vince and triple h and hug after wrestlemania on like a 24 or something right um, or like when aj styles threatens to kill shane mcmahon yeah yeah or something like that right <laughs> um so i mean this has been it's been interesting right it's been a, it's a new set piece i guess like, hey, yeah, we, definitely. We, we made this thing look awesome the last few years. Let's use it. Yeah. All those very shiny and we see all the lights. Oh, and uh, we should mention Ronda Rousey is the voice of Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to use a WWE superstar as a voice in Mortal Kombat. Right. And you do not make The Miz Johnny Cage. What Miz. the shit are we even doing? Yeah. Didn't they have Cody Rhodes in there? the new one no yeah cody so. rhodes cody rhodes was uh doing that also is cody voicing johnny cage because i'd be okay might, with that he too. might he be hold on let me check very very okay I, i'd be okay with that if that's the case but but the miz literally is johnny cage right down to giving people low blows <gasps> yeah You're right he, on his instagram Horror. he has a thing he's opening the envelope happy to defend earth realm tomorrow uh, uh, yeah, I think I think he just got Mortal invited Kombat to the party. Eleven. I think he just got invited to the party. I don't think he's actually in there. Because hmm. Woods was there too, dressed as Shao Kahn. Yes, yes. Mm. And so uh, Zelina like Vega, a... and Zelina Vega was there dressed as Jade. So um, wow. who was the who was that? Is that it's also very nice to look at. Who was the other uh, uh, person that was in the game? Doing the voice of uh, one of the characters that was from WWE. I didn't. Think I thought there was, there was one other person. Mm. I didn't think there was another one. I never saw anything on dot com about it. Um, they're, they're mentioning Tina's mentioning that Xavier Woods was at the reveal event for Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Yeah, yes, he so. was there with. And also, uh, Brandon is throwing out there that Alexa has been cleared to wrestle and mm-hmm. will be in the Royal Rumble. So good for her. Awesome. That's great. That could have been a surprise, honestly. I think that could have and should have been a surprise because Alexa being cleared to wrestle is a big deal. Well, they kind of played it that way on the show. Mm-hmm. She wasn't yeah, on that I list. Guess. You know, who re- who really reads that stuff? Um, other, than her. Like, other than like hard, no, like hard, there were a lot of fans, people so. up in arms about it this weekend. Oh, really? About well, WWE releasing um, the names for the Rumble. And like the active people on the roster being revealed, I don't have a problem with. But Lacey Evans had yet to have a match, and Alexa Bliss hasn't wrestled for months. So I think those could have been nice surprises, but they kind of spoiled both of them. Hmm. Um, also uh, mentioned in that in that comment from Brandon, um, John Cena being injured uh, with a, a, a workout accident this morning. He probably broke his little turtleneck. What? <laughs> he lost all his muscle mass in his neck. <laughs> he I dropped, think you're he... confusing John Cena and Oz Dozovic again. No, Otis doesn't just doesn't have a neck. Tur- <laughs> uh, uh, Cena's just like got a long turtleneck now. They what? like lost all his muscle mass on his shoulders. Larry is. I, is I the- really hope Cena isn't too badly injured. That would suck for him. Yeah, seriously. Um, I mean, I, it's not like he won't have other things to do. But I mean, you know, he's well. He might not be able to do those other things if he's injured. That's true. Too. Well, on the bright side, he might have a very very solid career in radio. Larry is still not happy with John Cena's performance. He shouldn't in Bumblebee. have Bumblebee. He shouldn't have been in that movie. Oh, okay. Sorry. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Oh, you, 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 you need to do that. Sorry, Very I saw the favorite this afternoon. We're gonna stop talking about Bumblebee then. No, 
it's okay. I, 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 let me guess. The Autobots win. Uh, <laughs> ish. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly. <laughs> it's I'm gonna just stick. I'm gonna just stick to John Cena can't act for shit and just drop it at that. Jeez, but man, that car fair, can act. To be fair, the Transformers movies are not known for their acting. I would rather rather watch Dwayne the Rock Johnson in Doom. This one was much better. Then what? This, this Transformers. Oh yeah, this trans. Wise, come on. No, Bumblebee was incredible. If you would have everything put John about Cena, that movie was incredible. Yes, that would be a ten out of ten movie right. if John Cena didn't kick a number off of it. All right, and to close a loop uh, from last week, I did watch Glass this week. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually like I thought about going to see Glass, and then I said no, oh. no, that is not going to work on Don't me. Don't let them win, Sorg. <laughs> I was going to watch it anyways. We uh, watched Unbreakable before you we went shouldn't. to watch it. But I'm going to I'm going to wait till it goes to a $2 theater. You are the reason <laughs> that movie studios keep giving M Night Shyamalan money to make movies. And it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I don't like the Unbreakable. Scene. You know I what love movies? Spy love spy. You know who belongs in his movies? Huh. John Cena. You know, that well, way, the acting's just as bad I mean, as the directing. Here's here is a preview of John Cena in a, in the M Night Phenomenon movie. Uh, it happens in Phoenix. <laughs> there's a shot. There's a shot where they're at that train station because it's like in every other movie. Um, and it was fun because Missy and I were actually at that train station while we we're waiting for our mega bus this year. So we're like, look, we were there. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it would be more exciting than if I just showed her the happening. Um, anyways. To be fair, Sorg, I can stare at this wall, and that would be more exciting than the happening. And uh, not and and slightly, slightly more disturbing. I hate M Night Shyamalan. Slightly. Um, yeah. And Dina, Dina, mo- I believe all of us have seen Split, and Split is good in spite of Shyamalan because James McAvoy is an amazing Jeez. actor. I haven't seen Split, even though he's an amazing actor, because yes. I hate uh, M Night Shyamalan oh. that much. Honestly, Larry, Split is worth a watch. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I'll pirate it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. That's fine. That's, uh, no, <laughs> let me. Split is worth a watch because James McAvoy is. I am not giving M. Night Shyamalan any of my money <laughs> ever again. I will let Been you know. Disappointed too many times. I watched the show. I watched the movie legally, but did not pay for it. Th- ah. Thank you, library system. That's okay. all, that's fair, I guess. Yes. I, I will. There you go. Not that I, I specifically was trying not to pay for it or anything, but just saying. Um, and I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, now this, what, what is this podcast? Uh, <laughs> anything so, else um, from Raw tonight? Did you guys want to touch on? Uh, Brock Lesnar was on TV for the longest he's been in about five years. He did some things. He no, he did two things. Mm-hmm. Let's let's not give him credit. Now, does that count as wrestling on Raw? No. No. No, okay. he wasn't in a match. Yeah, he was kind of in a match. You know what, well, no. you, Larry? Did you, did you remember what I learned about Brock Lesnar tonight? No. That thing that surprised us and we wondered who did it. What? He has a Twitter account. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> um. Do you know who else has a Twitter account? Who? The Undertaker. Yes, I found out about that the other day too. It, he should not have a Twitter account. No. No. Like, what does he do on it? Do, uh, <laughs> like, he, just, he tweets just, in peace. We'll, we'll we'll get we'll get oh, we'll get Dutters here because Dutters had a she had opinions about Undertaker's Twitter account last really? night. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Hey, you it's know good. what? I'm good. I'm gonna blame the Cowboys losing on the Undertaker because he rooted for them on his Twitter account. Mm. I'm gonna blame. I'm gonna put that one on the dead man. Anyway, put on. On that note, it's raw. It's Enjoy. Monday night. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here in the chat room. Um, <laughs> and uh, have fun watching Split, if you haven't yet, or Glass. Um, <clears throat> Hashtag bend over Bobby. What? What? Hashtag oh. bend over Bobby. <laughs> By the way, we need... Um, He's talking about Bobby Lashley. We, oh. knew ha- we need alliterative hashtags for everyone now. See, there, there's too many Bobbies on that show for you to say that, though. No. No, we know the one how, when you say about, that. How about lean down Lashley? Mm. Hashtag lean down Lashley. Yeah. Guys, and by the way, if you haven't realized, watch 205 Live to see why Leo Rush actually is amazing. Please. Please. Yeah. Larry, please. Please. Yeah. 
please. I don't want to be conflicted. I forget. Him. Just is let Leo me part him. of that cruiserweight title match at the Rumble? Hmm? No, right? I don't know. Is I, Leo... I'm, I'm still back in like November on that show. Just let me hate him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... Sword. Mm. I just want to hate him. Mad Mike 483 on the tweets? Yep. Uh, also, you can go to YouTube.com slash Poppy. <laughs> oh. I listened to Poppy. I don't know what to think. It's not as weird as I thought it was going to be. Sword, you know what you should watch? Huh? Uh, I, I put it in the I put it in the Facebook group a couple days ago. It's kids react to meeting Poppy. To meeting Poppy? Meeting Poppy. Oh, I need to get that. Sorg, Sorg, you need to watch it. Oh, jeez. It okay. will brighten oh. the darkest oh. day. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. We have. promised something and we didn't deliver. Um, do you have that link uh, on your phone, sir? Uh, Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner pogo stick. Oh, I put it in. The it's chat in the room. chat room. I don't know if he can uh, click a link from from his Facebook on there. Well, how else am I supposed to send it to him? Uh, yeah, I can't do that. I can't click the link. Yeah, I can't either. Damn it. Hold on. Well, I'm not typing that. That's too much. <laughs> Sorry, I'll put it in the chat room again. You click the link and show Larry. No, I can't either because I have it on the phone. Oh boy! All right, how, how am I, I supposed to do I don't do know this? why That's... Facebook did. I... Larry, just just type in on Scott YouTube. Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner on a pogo, pogo stick. stick. I swear you won't get porn. It literally comes right. I up. better not get Scott Steiner porn. I'm gonna be really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I forget who put it in before, but someone put it in there, set to a tune of Benny Hill music, and I'm mm-hmm. going to watch that afterwards. Mm-hmm. Scott Steiner. That would be Potter of the Tiny Shredder podcast. Yes. Scott Steiner pogo stick. Yep. Not Pogo the Clown. That'll be something else. Don't do that. <laughs> that Seven, 17 seconds? Anything. Sure. Yep. Turn the audio up. <laughs> <laughs> Although he's missing the Don West commentary. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, he's, yeah. he's pretty good. Oh, and now he's down. <laughs> <laughs> he's as good as literally everyone is on a pogo stick. That that was that was pretty impressive. Now it's St- Scott Steiner, a lyrical gangster. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the oh, mini oh Scott Steiner? Oh, that is probably Petey Williams. Um, oh, uh, little little. Oh, what did they call him? Little Little Petey or something? No, Little no, Papa no, no. Pump, Little Petey Pump, wasn't it? Little Petey Pump, yes. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. We're gonna stop. That was the whole this. thing. That was that. Oh, that was, and they also that's, didn't that's they also call him Maple Leaf Muscle? Yeah, Maple Leaf Muscle. Um, that's I it. think that was the era when they tried to make AJ Styles Ric Flair. Yep. Yep. And that's we're still trying to do that. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Like I said, Mad Mike four eighty three. Um, Larry. YouTube.com slash Poppy. Larry, where can people find uh, stuff going on with you? Uh, at Dark Forge Studios. Dot co. Dot co. Or yeah. on Instagram. Stuff on the Instagram, the Facebook, and the Facebook. very soon the Twitter. Yeah, we'll see. I gotta, f- I gotta remember my passwords. For I gave, that. I gave you the tip. I know. I, I gotta find my passwords. I gotta find my passwords. We'll see you guys uh, Monday. Uh, I'm sorry. The the Wrestling Mayhem show proper will be at 9 p.m. Eastern time uh, here on the Facebook Live. Sure. If you're joining us here, and uh, we will be having Farnsworth will be joining us, commentator for the IWC, and it will be the first edition. Yes. Of. Mayhem Man. Mania. I have my match ready and my backup match ready. I basically don't have to plan the show anymore for the next like <sighs> two months. I'm so excited, Sorg. Mike, we need to converse after this so we don't screw up each other's matches. No, no, just go with it. I need to think. Well, of a I match. have a backup match. Mm. I have a backup match, unless Matt lets me go first, <laughs> which he won't. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. This has been your wrap up. And again, if you catch this anywhere else, if you want to make sure you don't miss the audio version of this, make sure you subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your podcast. Discretion and I'm is going advised. to the outro for some reason. Bye. This show is brought to you by <laughs> Indie Wrestling. Hi, I'm, back. <laughs> I'm back because I screwed that up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Key. It raw. Keep it raw or something like that. We'll see you next time. No, just wrap just it up. Wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time then attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.